Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equation. And the question says, if p of x is a cubic polynomial, given that p of 1 equals 3, p of 1 over 2 equals 6, p of 1 over 3 equals 4, p of 1 over 4 equals 3. And we are interested to find p of 2. So this is an AC functional equation problem. But before I solve it, if you know how to solve this, uh, we can drop it in the comment box. So let's get into the uh, into it. If I consider the solution here. So looking at this, it follows a particular pattern. And we have various methods of solving it. But I think the one I'm going to use here is the easiest one to me. So you can also share your own in the comment box. Alright, let's start from the general cubic formula as it was defined under cubic so if you have p of x equals the general cubic formula let's say i have ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d so if i let's add this and this is not the case this is not what i'm going to use so I just assume the general cubic uh, formula. Then we need some a pattern here because looking at this, it follows some unique patterns. If I start with p of one, so for p of one over two, so they said it is equal six, and this implies that suppose we multiply six by two, so this gives us twelve. And also, if you have p of 1 divided by 3, so this equals 4. And this also implies that if you multiply uh, 4 by 3, you are going to get 12. And again, if you have p of 1 divided by 4, this equals 3. This also implies 3 multiplied by 4, that equals 12. This continues like this. All of this gives us 12. And how can we now get the general formula? So from this, since all these domains, they are fractions, then we can see that if you have P of 1 divided by N, then if you multiply this by N, this will always give us 12. Because P of N itself, they are these values. And uh, we multiply it by the number that we assume. So this gives us 12. And this is now telling us that if you have P of 1 over N equals 12 divided by N. So I'm going to start this. Then let's say we have a solution of Let's say we have p of x equals q of x plus, uh, let's say p of x plus 12x, for instance. And how do we get this? It's very simple. It is simple terms of, let me say I replace x with 1 over n. So anywhere we see x, replacing it with 1 over n, so p of 1 over n equals q of 1 over n plus 12 over n. And this 12 over n has been gotten initially to be p of 1 over n, so which is 12 divided by n. Then we can now see that any time we have q of 1 over n, for us to have p of 1 over n equals 12 over n, q of 1 over n is 0. And what are the conditions that make this one to be 0? So let's see. So since this is what we have, we are going to have p of 1 over n equals 0. For us to have p of 1 over n equals 12 divided by n. But why do we have q of 1 over n to be equal 0? So in a simple terms, for every q of 1 over n, equals to 0, so it shows that our n must be equals 2, 3, and 4, if we cited 1 over n. What if we cited q of x? 
So since q of x vanishes at some point, this shows that the values must be 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, and others like that. So therefore, we are going to have this general formula for q over x to be equals. Suppose I choose a constant value here to be like m, then open bracket x minus 1 over 2 multiply by x minus 1 over 3 multiply by x minus 1 over 4. So we stop at 4 as every single x here must be equals 1 over 2. So if x equals 1 over 2 at this point, everything here becomes 0. It's vanished. And if x equals 1 over 3, everything here also vanished. If x equals to 1 over 4, everything here also equals vanished. Because initially I set our x to be equals 1 over n. So which means every n must be equals, uh, n will be equals to 3 and 4. So if n equals 2, we are going to have x to be equals 1 over 2, x equals 1 over 3, and x equals 1 over 4. That is how q of 1 over n vanished. So therefore, in a general formula now, we are going to have p of x equals a m into bracket of x minus 1 over 2 multiplied by x minus 1 over 3 multiplied by x minus 1 over 4. Then we are going to add plus 12x. So this is what we are going to have for the general formula. So it will not be easy for us to find f of 2, uh, p of 2. But before we know p of 2, we need to know the value of m. And to know the value of m, if you now recall above that, we have our p of 1 to be equal to 3. So we use this value to get m. Then everywhere we see x, we are replacing them by 1. And the everything here, which is p of 1, is equal to 3. So let's stop substitute. We have p of 1 equals m into bracket of 1 minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 4 plus 12 times 1, and that is 12. And after getting this, we are going to have p of 1, that is 3, equals m into bracket of 1 minus 1 over 2 that is 1 over 2 multiply by 1 minus 1 over 3 we have it as 2 over 3 and 1 minus 1 over 4 that is 3 over 4 plus 12 so some numbers have cancelled already 3 cancel 3 and 2 cancel um, 2 here we have 3 equals m times 1 times 1 that is m divided by 4 and here is plus 12. So if we try and solve this one, to know the value of m, we can see that m will be equals minus 36. So if it subtract this one, that is minus 9, and minus 9 times 4, that is minus 36. So therefore, we are going to have our p of x to be equals minus 36 into bracket of x minus 1 over 2 multiplied by x minus 1 over 3 multiply by x minus 1 over 4 then plus 12x so this is what we have and it will not be easy for us to get the value of p of 2 by substituting p of 2 here and when we substitute p of 2 what we are going to have is very very simple as the binary solution here will be minus 267 divided by 2 so this is for our p of 2 so this is how to solve this problem and this is how we define the general formula. Thanks for watching and uh, how do you see this problem? If you watch to this stage, please do like to subscribe, share and like. Bye bye.